Hey folks and welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. You know we've been gone for a while. I made the video last week with the Euro but we've been gone for a while. Our tractor was down for about five weeks. Uh, we lost the engine on it. We had to get a new engine. We put it in last week and I'm sorry I didn't video that. I probably should have. Show you how to change out an engine in a CK2610. But anyway, uh, our tractor's back which means we can mill some more. So I get some hemlocks back here I want to cut down and uh, we're going to mill them into some live edge siding for a friend of ours. Let me show you around on the trees that we want to cut down. So we've been making trails along here on the mountain and I just cleared out here to get to that big hemlock right there. Now that hemlock is kind of cool. First off it's a good size one. It's got a lot of knots so it'll make for some great live edge siding. And I don't know if you can see it but up in there Right up there, there's a deer stand that's like grown into the tree. It's been there for years and years. So I'm going to get me a tree stand out of this deal. Uh, it's been on the property since we've had it. And uh, we just haven't got into it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There it is. There's a tree stand up there. So we can cut down the tree and hopefully we can cut the tree stand out of it. So we're going to go ahead and... Cut that hemlock down, give us some wood, some nice hemlock branches for the goaty goats, so let's chop her down. Sorry guys, didn't realize you fell. All right. So there's the top part of the tree stand and there's the bottom part still on the tree. As you can see, it's kind of embedded in the tree. It's been there a couple of years. The straps are all inside the, lock, the uh, limbs. So we're gonna have to try to get this thing out of there now. See if we can do this. Yeah. 
Since that log's a little wide to bring through the woods on the grapple, I'd have to drag it. I decided I'd take that thing off in the woods rather than uh, trying to drag the log and ruining it. So let's go ahead and get it off. All right, we got one side off just using our spud wrench, but it won't work on this one, so we're gonna have to use the vice grips. Mm, that's on now. Try not to break it. Oh, vice grips channel locks. I have vice grips too, just in case. There we go. All right, just had to get it started. See if we can wedge that thing off there somehow. Then that wood pretty good. Oh, there we go. That was easy enough. Okay. One side. There it is. Out of the tree. We got a tree stand. Look at that. Yes, sir. So, you can see a couple places where it was wedged in, like right there, up here, this piece down here. You can see the straps are wrapped right around that tree. They go right through here, underneath that. So those aren't coming out. Now the only issue I have with using this tree for wood is they had climbing spikes going up it. So we'll get the magnets and the metal detector out and we'll dig them out before we mill this. So uh, we got ourselves a nice free tree stand. Came with the property, that's pretty cool. Over here get the other piece. Here's the other piece of it. So there you go, one tree stand. All you gotta do is buy some property, find a tree stand that's been up there like 10, 15 years or so, and there you go. That's it. So there folks, a little different video than what we expected. We showed you how to get a free tree stand. So we'll probably call the video that. Tomorrow, hopefully we're gonna be milling up some wood. We got the uh, tractor back, you can see I got the grapple on. I got my counterweight, which is working awesome, by the way, with these logs. We're going to get these up to the mill. And uh, like I said, hopefully tomorrow we'll be cutting some live edge siding. So you know what to do with my videos. Like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends and your neighbors about us. And always, folks, God bless.